How to make loft house cookies. How many of you have actually drilled seeing the loft house cookies? Well, I'm not hesitant to say that I do every time I see them. And finally, I came up with the perfect loft house cookie recipe ever. They taste exactly like those you buy from the grocery store. So if you really want to know how to make the perfect loft house cookies, then let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Cookie and today I'm here with one of the best loft house cookie recipes you could ever come across. So keep watching, get your things ready and follow the whole process with me. I know that well-known grocery store cookies known as loft house cookies are adored by so many of you watching this video. And that's quite obvious given that they have an incredibly soft texture, a sweet buttercream frosting and colorful sprinkles. If you've never had them, they're more like a cross between a cookie and a cake than traditional sugar cookies. They feature the most wonderfully sweet icing and the sweetest melt-in-your-mouth texture. I have been trying to master a recipe for homemade loft house cookies that have all the flavors and the texture of the originals but are much healthier for you. Ingredients So let's see what you'll need for them. 1. Flour Some recipes call for cake flour, but I found that all-purpose flour works just as well. 2. Next you'll need cornstarch. Although cornstarch may seem like an odd ingredient, it is essential to making extremely soft cookies. 3. You'll have to add butter. Use unsalted butter that is at room temperature to ensure that the cookie batter and frosting will combine smoothly. 4. Then comes eggs. Make sure the egg is at room temperature before beginning because it aids in binding the ingredients together and in giving the cookies their rise. 5. And obviously, sugar is a must. Use granulated white sugar rather than brown sugar for a more genuine flavor when adding sugar. 6. You'll also need some sour cream. Sour cream contributes to the dish's incredibly soft, delectable texture. 7. Then comes the rising flour, which includes baking powder and baking soda. For better lift and lighter texture, I combine baking soda and baking powder. 8. Next, milk will also need to be added as it softens the frosting and gives it an extra creamy, smooth texture. 9. Food coloring is optional, but it's enjoyable to imitate the traditional loft house cookie appearance. 10. Sprinkles, which are again optional but a delightful addition, can be used in any quantity. I've used food coloring for a traditional and authentic look, but you can omit it or use a natural substitute if you'd rather. I can't just tell you how tasty and simple these cookies will turn out. They also store well and can be frozen, so you can always find your favorite sweet treat whenever you want. Instructions Step 1. In a bowl, combine together all the dry ingredients with the exception of the sugar. Step 2. After that, combine the butter and sugar in a stand mixer and beat until frothy and light. Step 3. Now, gradually beat in eggs, vanilla, and almond extract. Step 4. The next part is including the sour cream and blending it with the mixture. Step 5. Once you're done mixing in the sour cream, now you need to combine the dry ingredients with the liquid components. Now, we'll cover it up and chill for one hour. The mixture is now chilled and ready to be shaped. Next, you need to roll out the dough to a thickness of half an inch. Just like this, it's perfectly rolled out. Now I'll use a round cookie cutter and cut out the cookies. Put it in the oven on a lined baking pan and bake for eight to nine minutes. Step six, time to make the yummiest frosting. Add the powdered sugar, vanilla, and butter to the softened butter to make the frosting and combine them by gradually adding the milk. At this point, the mixture should look smooth. If you feel necessary, you can add food coloring to get the color of the frosting you want. Step 7. Once your cookies are out of the oven, layer them with your frosting and sprinkle them to make them look pretty. Tips to nail the recipe. There are always some hidden tips and tiny details that really make a difference and differentiate your cookies from the ordinary ones. So, I'll tell you some important things that you need to consider while making these cookies. First, don't omit cornstarch as it's pretty necessary for soft cookies. Second, the cookie dough must be chilled for at least an hour before rolling it out, or it will be too sticky. Third, don't panic if the dough will appear thick, but with a few pats, it will come together. Also know that the number of cookies depends on the size you cut them. And don't, just don't use expired baking soda and baking powder, because using so will result in cookies that don't have a fluffy texture. For the greatest results in a soft texture, make sure your chilled ingredients, particularly the butter and the eggs, are at room temperature. Another thing that I suggest is that you should use vanilla extract as opposed to essence for optimum results. And a very important tip is that the texture of these cookies won't be the same if you overbake them. 
These cookies should be a lovely light color. They shouldn't be brown. Many people ask about how long you can store them. So the good news is that these cookies can be stored for up to three months or kept fresh in the refrigerator for up to a week if in a sealed container. Cookies can be frozen with or without frosting, but frosting makes them more difficult to store. Defrost, then frost and serve. Also, if you prefer different flavors, you can add whichever one you want. For instance, you can add fresh lemon juice and zest. Also, you can try replacing the milk and the frosting with lemon juice or orange juice. Cinnamon is a warming spice that you can use, and you can change the frosting's color and appearance by adding different sprinkles and food coloring of your choice. With these cookies, you can truly have fun and decorate them however you like. You can also prepare them in advance, as in the fridge, the cookie dough will be kept perfectly fine for up to three days. It might need to warm up to room temperature for 10 to 15 minutes before you can roll it out and shape it. That's all for today, folks, and we hope you enjoyed baking with us. Keep watching for more amazing recipes, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel on your way out. See you next time. Until then, bye!